So I'm going to be showing this in a simulator here. I recreated the circuit to make it easier to point stuff out. So pin 7 goes to the green LED here. Pin 8 goes through to this red LED. Pin 10 goes to the green LED, 11 to this yellow one, and 12 to this red one. You'll notice I'm going to, I skipped over pin 9, which is actually an input from the push button. So if you push the button, 9 goes high, and you can do something because 9 is receiving voltage. And then you got this resistor here, which goes to ground. I think that's called a pull-up resistor. I'll have to, I'll have to check on that. And then when you press the button, something happens with these LEDs, according to the code. So this is what it normally starts out in, and then you press the button. The car's traffic light goes to red, and the pedestrian's light goes to green. And then after a couple seconds, it starts flashing, and then the car's light goes back to green. And see here, we declare variables for our pins. These are for the car's red, yellow, and green LEDs. These are for the pedestrian's red and green LEDs. And that's the, the push button. And here's a variable for how long the pedestrian has to cross, apparently. We can ignore this at the moment because we're not actually going to be using it on the simulator. But basically what it's used for is to track how much time there's been since the button was pressed. That's useful for making sure you can't press it again and activate it again before the cycle's over. It reads with a digital read function. So we got the setup block here. We're setting all of our pins we're using to output outputs except for the button, which is pin 9, which is going to be an input. And then we're going to turn our green and red LEDs on. Green for the cars and red for the pedestrians. So now we reach the loop, which checks the state of the button. If the digital read returns high, it'll run the change lights function. And if it's not high, it'll just keep reading the state until it is. So once we press the button, we go into this change light lights function here, which turns a car green off, turns the yellow on, waits two seconds, turns the yellow off and turns the red on, waits another second, and then the pedestrian light goes from having red on to just having green on. And then you wait for how long how long you set the crossing time. Then you flash it. So you flash the light. Looks like 10 times. And then light goes red. And then the car, car lights go back to green. So we're actually not paying attention to this in the simulator. But that's just to make sure... You, you can't run it again before it's done, I guess.